ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann. This is our Weather Extreme video for Tuesday, the second day of September. Many folks are back in the groove today, back at work after a long Labor Day weekend. Alabama's weather stays pretty quiet for a while, but the tropics are just... Uh, Running wild out there. Let's go right to the Skycam network this morning at the somewhat ridiculous hour of 5 o'clock. Here's a look at our um, uh, Trustville Skycam looking south, looking right down Chalkville Mountain Road toward the intersection of Interstate 59. Downtown Birmingham got some low clouds around this morning. That's the view looking south in the top of the Daniel Building. And down south, a look at downtown Clanton from our Skycam down in Chilton County. Gustav is inland and weakening, now a tropical storm, a little northwest of Alexandria, Louisiana, and we've got some high clouds around here, but again, all of the big rain and wind stays well to the west. Down there in the lower right, that's Hannah. Expected rain around the nation for the next five days. Amazing. Alabama in between systems. Gustav to the west, Hannah to the east. Heavy rain from Gustav, the bullseye around Texarkana, 13.4 inches there. And the heavy rain ultimately moves up toward Missouri, where they could see over 7 inches, and ultimately up toward Chicago. And then you can clearly see the track of Hannah. And by the way, this is valid through Saturday evening. Hannah's heavy rains from the coastal plain of the Carolinas on up to Cape Cod in southern New England. This morning, got a tornado watch until 7 o'clock for a pretty good chunk of south Mississippi and parts of Louisiana in the eastern quadrant of Gustav, and we got tornado warnings as far uh, uh, east as uh, Scott and Simpson counties of Mississippi. Also a few uh, warnings down to the south, that box down there around the New Orleans area. Convective outlook for today, got a slight risk of severe weather from near Baton Rouge and Jackson back up to uh, Little Rock. Tomorrow, a slight risk basically in the same area for parts of Arkansas, Louisiana, and western Mississippi, and that's all because of old Gustav that's just stalled out. Let's show you an amazing picture there. There's a look at our current uh, active tropical cyclones. Let's see, one, two, three, four now, and two waves on top of that. Gustav is inland. Hannah, just northwest of Hispaniola. And farther out there in the Atlantic, you've got Ike and now Tropical Depression 10 south of the Cape Verde Islands. Wow. A lot happening out there. Here's a uh, look at uh, Hannah and Ike in the Atlantic. Closer look at Hannah. Been uh, kind of drifting to the south, almost stationary in the last uh, 12 hours or so. It's between the Bahamas and the northern coast of Haiti. The modeling generally brings it to the South Carolina coast. Of course, there are outliers in both directions, but uh, the National Hurricane Center maintains their track. It brings it to, uh, actually, they've adjusted a little north since yesterday morning at this time. They bring it to a point really near Charleston during the uh, day Friday as a hurricane. And then uh, it hooks up into the westerlies and curves northeast up into New England. So, uh, Saturday and Sunday, uh, Sunday could be pretty windy and wet up there in the uh, northeast United States. But again, the uh, concern with shifts from the Gulf Coast to the Atlantic Coast for this thing. Uh, the guys are suggesting it could be a Category 2 at the time of landfall. Could it be a major hurricane? Yes, it could. Uh, again, uh, uh, it's going to be over that warm Gulf Stream there, and it seems like the uh, shearing should be decreasing with time. So... Uh, understand that could be a big issue for South Carolina. Remember, the worst of the weather will be along into the north of the landfall center, wherever that happens to be. But on that track, all of the effects of Hannah will not impact Alabama at all. Ike, do you like Ike? Well, we don't know yet. Depends on where Ike goes, I guess. Uh, it's out there around uh, 42 west. Models are pretty consistent here. Uh, they bring Ike to that uh, magical point just north of Hispaniola, around the southeast Bahamas over the weekend. And, of course, from there it could wind up in the Gulf, could threaten the South Atlantic coast, but certainly on that track the odds of a recurving storm are smaller and smaller. It's going to bother somebody somewhere. So Ike is a player and on the board. 
The official track from the Hurricane Center, very similar to modeling, as you might expect, brings it to around the southeast Bahamas early Sunday morning. And TD number 10, south of the Cape Bird Islands. Boy, all the sharks are in the water out there, huh? You've got uh, Ike on the left, and that's TD 10 there just below the Cape Bird Islands. Uh, modeling on that one shows a slow bend to the northwest, but the uh, Hurricane Center track kind of bends it back to the west in time. And obviously, that's way, way out there, but we'll keep watching that thing. Let's look at the GFS, noon today, or 1 o'clock today, at 500 millibars. Westerlies are up north. Poor old Gustav just kind of trapped, and it sits there around Shreveport. And uh, we'll go down below all of that, and you can see uh, uh, Gustav with heavy rain over Arkansas, Louisiana, South Mississippi. Around here, uh, there might be a shower, but I'd say it's only a small chance. Most areas dry. And uh, Hannah shows up nicely in the lower right. Wednesday, both those things not moving much. But on Thursday, Hannah begins to move. Gustav still hanging around Texarkana. Uh, we're going to see some big-time rain totals up and down that mighty Mississippi River, that's for sure. Hannah's coming up through the Bahamas on Thursday. Friday, it begins to move into the Carolina coast. This is 1 o'clock, and it's pretty much in agreement with the NHC track. Takes it up toward Charleston. Remember? Uh, the the east side or the west side is the dry side, so Atlanta and Birmingham would see nothing from H Hannah if this is right. Saturday, starting off the weekend, Hannah moves up toward uh, Baltimore and Washington. Modeling showing maybe enough moisture for a shower in spots, but they would be scattered in the same deal Sunday. Any rain here, very, very isolated. Hannah's lifting out into the Canadian Maritimes, and Monday of next week looks pretty dry. You can see our weather looks really quiet, doesn't it, for a while? And there's Tuesday now. Moisture kind of moves back in here. And look at the cold air north over Canada. you got to like that. 540 line just north of the Great Lakes. Hey, this is September. It's been cold up there for a while, and at some point that air is going to move. Quickly at the end of the cycle on the 17th, got troughing over the uh, eastern part of the country. Cold front dipping down here, some kind of tropical system showing up down there in the southern gulf, but you know what that is. That's all voodoo land out there. We're just peaking. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on our blog. That's alabamawx.com if you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes. Our next video here by 3.30 today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Weather, 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 weather.